video is brought to you by ExpressVPN. For me, it is very important to have a VPN to protect my online privacy. Now, it'd be very, very creepy if there was someone out there who kept a log of every single thing that you did online. So why let your internet provider really do that to you online? The best thing to do is to get yourself a VPN and why not go with ExpressVPN, the best VPN available. Personally, I like it for the fact that you can unlock Netflix shows that you do not get in the US market. Now, one show that I've started to get myself into is Brooklyn Nine-Nine. You search Brooklyn Nine-Nine in the US, doesn't come up but you can switch your location to canada and you can research brooklyn 99 again and bam it pops up right then and there and you can catch up on your episodes of brooklyn 99 now if you click the link in the description below you will get three free months of express vpn just by clicking the link below and you sign up today you will get three months free of the express vpn all you have to do is click the link down below and you will get the express vpn now Let's just get back to the video. Okay, so the part that you guys are waiting for, the win-loss total prediction of the Chicago Bears that I believe that they could have going into this 2023 season. Now, still early. So, at this point, the improvements on offense and the offensive line with Darnell Wright. Wide receiver Chase Claypool is incommitted fully to a full offseason to get the rapport with Fields, DJ Moore, Darnell Mooney, Cole Komet, Robert Tunyon. And then you have on the defensive side of the ball, they added Edmonds, Tremaine Edmonds. They added TJ Edwards. They added Andrew Billings up front. They added Javon Dexter. Tyrell, Tyreek Stevenson on the other side of the football as well to go with Gordon, to go with Johnson, to go with Brisker and Eddie Jackson. This team, I believe, is right now a 7-10 and 10 football team. Now, we're going to see, I believe, improvements for both sides of the football. But I just think this team right now is still growing and it's still young on both sides of the football. So I believe there are going to be some growing pains within this season. We're going to expect better, and I think we're going to get better than we did in 2022. Barring health, of course, that is always a thing. But with this team constructed as it is now, with young pieces on both offense and defense that can all grow together, which I don't think this team right now is a playoff team just yet. I don't think they are a contending playoff team just yet, even though it could be a surprising team. I can see them being eight and nine, but I'm going to say this is a seven and 10 win Chicago Bears team heading into 2023. This is my way too early win loss prediction.